Your Excellency, President Yuari Kogutu Masubeni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency Amani Koromi, Your Excellency, the first Vice President of Burundi, Your Excellency, Dr. Moon, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to be you, with you this morning, representing my president, His Excellency President Salva Kiir Mayadid, who was invited to this very important forum, but he could not attend because he is very busy home to realize the vision of uh, living in peace in the Republic of South Sudan. He is preparing himself to go to Khartoum so that he signed the final peace that revitalized the peace of 2015 so that the younger nation in the world could live in peace again. And we thank Excellencies, the head of the state of Igad, President Museveni, President, Yuru, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Prime Minister Abe, President Bashir, President of uh, Djibouti, Somalia, and also our President in the G5 of AU. Your Excellencies, we are engaged in South Sudan in various levels to bring peace back home. I was amazed when I uh, hear the news of peace at the border of the uh, town of Moyale between the Ethiopian and Kenyan clans. And I'm very happy when I heard the initiative of uh, extending that experience to a peace in the corridor of Karamoja. I'll, I would add also the, car, uh, the, cor, the corridor of Karamoja, Turkana, and Taposa. The Turkana are in Kenya, Karamoja are Ugandan, and the Taposa are in South Sudan, because we experience the same, we have the same experiences. Dr. Moon, let me inform you that in the whole world, the family that you are uh, striving to realize, one member in the family that you are working to realize, South Sudan, it is the only family where we still experience what we call child abduction. Not only cattle wrestling, but child abduction. That in the morning or in the evening, somebody from nowhere can abduct your child and go away with claiming that God has given him this right. If there's a member of this family, this great family that you are working to achieve, that need an urgent support, it is the people of South Sudan. So that we disarm all those communities, so that you give them another innovative values that are more valuable to them than living at the stage of insecurity and uh, internal fighting. Your Excellencies, you may be aware of the peace being negotiated in Addis Ababa and Khartoum, but there are also local peace initiatives taking place inside my country. We have the national dialogue, which is a very important process. But more importantly, we have what we call people-to-people -people peace at the grassroots level, where churches, civil societies, youth and women are very involved. Let me not go further, but I'm ha very happy to be here. We are learning a lot. We need your support. Support President Museveni, because he's very much active in South Sudan so that we are peace. 
I think we are a human being. We are capable of learning. We know where we came from. And we should know also where we are going. Don't be disappointed. I know many of you are uh, very disappointed of the messing up in my country, but we are going to surprise you that we can also be a better learners and we, have, we may have a better future. I thank you very much.